we will see today how to verify site code 10 installation on your local environment what are the uh, website you have created on your eyes what are the database get installed what are the services installed what are the certificates gets installed welcome to my channel my site code diaries this is me jitendra ghanikar i am a site code architect from mumbai Please subscribe to my channel, get a notification for the latest update uh, by clicking on the bell icon. So today's uh, topic is what I see after site code installation. So in last video we have installed the site code. So this is a continuation of that video. So if you have not watched that video, then I will just recommend that you go back to that video, watch that, and then come back to this one. Link I have given the link in the description. So let's start. So what we are going to see is uh, first of all in the IIS we will have the three websites. We'll see how those websites are getting created. Okay, so first is our, our site core website, then the identity server website, then the next connect. Then we will have uh, databases. There are different databases which will get created. Uh, then uh, in the services, we'll have three services: the X Connect service, processing service, marketing automation service, and then then there will be a few certificates which might get installed on your uh, 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 local environment. Okay, so let's walk through now. Okay, let's see in the IS. So if you see here, there are I have installed two websites. Let's check the last three one. Okay, so TSDSC10 Identity Server, TSDSC10 SD.com, and TSDSC10 X Connect. These are the three uh, sites which get, uh, get uh, hosted on the IS once you do the IS installation. Okay, let's see the main site that is TSDSC10 SD.com. If I explore it, you will see there are multiple folders and if you if you observe it look like the normal dotnet website okay so it is it is a kind of a dotnet website only uh, so if you go here the app config folder is very important you will have all the configuration file which are related to the site code include folder will have uh, you will have many other for other uh, configuration uh, you have the site code configurations here okay so environment configuration so uh, when uh, th these are very important configuration we, in, in later stages we will see uh, about the configuration there are uh, there are the topics which will cover this but this is very important folder site code is already is uh, built already on the configuration file so there are a lot of configuration files which you will see okay uh, then you have a bean folder where you have a lot of dlls okay whatever the reference dlls which is required then you have a layout folder use folder okay and then the site core folder a site core folder is basically your cms related folder okay if you go here you will see the there are admin login uh, all these uh, folders are there we have many functionalities are there so basically the site core folder is nothing but your cms uh, functionality uh, uh, so when you have a cmcd website uh, then um, uh, uh, separate then uh, generally the site core folder we doesn't uh, deploy on the CD server or we do not give them access to the CD server okay so this is how it is and there is a web dot config and global dot access file is also there okay so this is how the application physical folder is uh, looks like let's see the website now okay in physical folder you have see you you have seen there are uh, there are x -Vets pages also and the uh, cstml pages also so it basically support web forms also and the apps also now coming back to our main website this is the main website uh, so when you install the site code then the, that is a vanilla instance of site code you will see this uh, this page so this is well, if you see this page it means your site code is installed correctly now let's go back uh, let's uh, try to see how does the CMS look? So as I uh, told you, you, with your domain, you have to put site code. Okay. Uh, then you have to put the uh, your password. So if you remember uh, in uh, uh, installation, there is a there, there is a section where you provided the site code admin password. Okay. So let me put that password. 
once you go, once you logged in, you will land on the launch pad. So this is called as a launch pad. Okay. So I'm a I'm an administrator now. I'm logged in as an administrator. I will see this many uh what is the option. Okay, uh, first marketing application. So these are related to the marketers, uh, content editor. These are related to the content editor, control panel, access management. Okay, so these also we have seen in our one of the video. Okay, so this is if you are able to do this, then you are able to log in into the site code. So if you click on content editor, it will open the content editor. Okay, if you click on the home page and then uh, you go to the uh, uh, uh a presentation and you click on preview it will open the preview thing okay so this is how uh, the uh, cms will look like okay so if you are if you are if you are seeing all this thing it means you are installed everything correctly okay so this is the identity server website so you must you already seen this website when you, you type site codes uh, and then the entered in the in, in on the main website it actually redirects to the identity server here you put the username and password and it's redirect to the uh, your launch pad okay this is the identity server and when you run the x connect from the uh, from the uh, uh, the is it will it will show you this page okay so it means it is working fine so this is how you identify the site for identity and x connect is working now let's see uh, databases <clears throat> i have already logged in into the sql server so once you log in into the sql server you will see uh, there are a lot of uh, database which get installed so if you consider the one we are site which we are we are checking that it is tsc10 if you see these many uh, databases are uh, added here is or installed here so <clears throat> uh, the normal uh, databases which or you can see how most important databases are TST uh, master uh, TST SC1010 underscore master so basically it is a master database so master database uh, is uh, where the uh, content is stored work in progress content is stored okay and then you have a web database here which you actually host your live data and then you have a core database which holds the configuration or a user's data okay then you have a three uh, collection databases here then if you see here reporting database then you have a reference database there are four uh, processing uh, databases are there message messaging database you have a marketing automation database uh, experience form so whatever the form so that for that it is there then you have a exam uh, functionality in site for for that exam master data database is there so these many databases get uh, installed in the site for when you install the site for okay now let's see uh, uh, what are the services which we have so if you type the services in run and then you will come here so you will see here three services uh, the first is the sc10 connect x index worker okay then you have the uh, x, x connect processing and then you have a marketing automation so these are the three services uh, which uh, which will run if you remember in the our installation we have to be have we have discussed about the problems which we faced uh, you might face about marketing automation and if you didn't solve it so we have to comment the uh, few uh, lines right in the uh, just uh, one of the ps1 file so the problem was here only where the service is not getting started okay so this is the uh, services and then if you want to check the certification if you go to the certificates then you will find these three uh, three certificates got installed esdst and identity server sd.com and the xconnect so these are the things which these are the three certificates which are get installed okay so this this is these are the things uh, which you can verify in the, after your installation uh first is your site core website uh, i mean the all three websites then you check your databases check your services uh, check your uh, certification are, are there or not okay any question you can email me on my email address this is my linkedin id you can contact to me at my linkedin if you like my uh, uh, video then please click on like button please share it with your friends uh, if you have any feedback please comment on it please subscribe to my channel uh, click on the bell icon to get the latest uh, uh, update or latest videos thank you thanks for watching my video